So I think you should be this side. If you go this side, you send on this arm. You might not have made me We went to Agility and Hooper's training camp in the summer. This is a compilation of clips from Bohemia's agility session with trainer Stuart Doherty. The sound quality of the video is dreadful, so I thought I would ramble on while you watch Bohemia work. The workshop was held in Croxton Kerry or near Grantham. That's in the UK in case you can't tell by my accent. We've been going there for Hooper's competitions where the ring is fenced. So I got a shock when we arrived at the workshop and found that we would be working in the open field without fencing around the ring. There was a Hoopers class taking place at the same time and just a single line of fencing between the two classes in the hope of stopping dogs like Bohemia straying onto the wrong side. Bohemia is a two-year-old Siberian Husky. I haven't done a lot with her as she's quite a chunky dog and I don't want to ruin her joints by doing too much too soon. She's only just learning to weave so we miss those out. We never did do the whole course, just small sections of it, and then stopped and rewarded her well. I had loads of sausages and chicken to reward her with, which kept her focused on me. There were a lot of distractions for her to cope with. The environment was like that of a show, with dogs running around in the ring next to us. Except I wouldn't dream of running her in a competition without a secure fence. You know how huskies are. They have a reputation for running off. Well, she's better than most, but I still don't trust her completely. I had hurt my knee and couldn't run, so Bo is having to practice her distance handling skills. And I think she did a really good job of it. We did 10 minute sessions, making sure to end on a good note each time. Four dogs were working in each group, so she had around half an hour to wait until her next turn. She needed to rest, as all that running around at high speed is tiring. Well, for her anyway. There were advantages for me in not being able to run, as I didn't get tired. I must remember to video training sessions I do at home more often, as the thing I got told off for most was flapping my arms about, instead of keeping my arms still to indicate the route I wanted her to take. <laughs> 